Just when New York Islander fans began to feel somewhat secure that they were rooting for a hockey team, not just a TV program, and a leverage piece for a real estate deal, the bottom fell out. The team's new owners don't seem all that much different from the team's previous ownership groups, those of Howard Milstein and Charles Wan. The National Hockey League franchise was part of an overall portfolio that would have been a linchpin to develop 77 acres of land in Uniondale, New York, suburban Nassau County, to develop an arena village complete with offices and housing. Milstein failed in 1997 to get a new arena in Nassau County, and Wong failed in 2010. Wong moved his team to Brooklyn. He sold the team to Jonathan Ledecky and Scott Malkin two years ago, but was a majority owner until July 1st. He's part of the Ledecky Malkin Group. There have been numerous reports over the past few days that the Ledecky Malkin Group is not thrilled with the Brooklyn setup and are kicking the tires in Queens possibly looking at attractive land adjacent to Fred Wilpon's Met Stadium, possibly in Elmont on the Queens-Nassau border at Belmont Park. Wilpon floated an arena proposal a few years back and apparently controls land near his park for development. The North American Soccer League's New York Cosmos want to put a stadium by Belmont. The Belmont site has been dangled by New York State for a few years, but nothing has materialized. Ledecky Malkin might also be trying to get improvements in Brooklyn. The entire 44-year history of the New York Islanders franchise has been tied to real estate, starting with the granting of a team to Nassau County by the NHL to keep the upstart rival, World Hockey Association, out of the New York market in 1972. It's not all about sports. It's about the house the owner owns. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.